Rice and today's video is Difference between rat genders So yes, I thought I'd do a rat video today because I've not done one in a while and you haven't seen the rats for a while either So I thought today would be a great day to make a rat video and an informative one too So the first point we're going to start off with is size and difference between sizes So males are nearly twice the size of female rats when they're fully grown and they can weigh up to 500 to 700 grams in weight. So there's a huge difference between the weight of a male rat to a female rat. So they are much larger in size and that is a huge difference compared to the two. So going on to behaviour. So males are more laid back and they'll enjoy the cuddles far more than the females. Some aren't as active and they prefer to be with you instead of run around and play. Going on to personality, so males are usually less active than females and they tend to sleep a lot more as well, so ideally they will need more sleeping areas in their accommodation. Also when introducing rats to each other, males tend to be a bit more aggressive towards each other than the females and they do take more time and patience to tame and to bond with each other. Um, this is actually caused by hormonal aggression which is found more in males than females. Going on to the fur coat. So male fur is slightly more coarser and is not as soft and shiny as the female's fur. Also, male rats produce an oil called buck grease. This is an odour that only male rats can produce. The odour gives off a slightly musky smell but not too strong. It should appear a yellowy orangey coating on the skin. This is caused by hormones and is only found in males. Some males can be greasier than others though. However, this can be decreased by keeping them on a good diet and this can help keep the coat more glossy and less greasy. Going on to male health problems. So the first problem for male rats is they can get testicular tumours. This is where the testicles are um, in a regular shape, they're not the right shape. They can be quite hard and lumpy and also there usually is swelling that appears on them as well and that's the signs for testicular tumours. Another health problem in rats is hind leg degeneration. This is where the back legs of the male rat usually are not able to work anymore um, and they're going to have to drag them behind them, they won't be able to use them. So this prevents them from being able to climb and do normal rat things that they like to do. And you'll also at this stage need to provide them with a ground space cage and make sure there's lots of space on the ground to provide them with all the toys they need, the food, the water, everything on the ground. Um, and obviously make sure they can't climb because they won't be able to anyway. And that's what hind leg degeneration is. And this is only found in male rats. So going on to female rats. Starting with size. So female rats will usually grow up to around half the size of a male rat, so they are much smaller in size than a male. They usually weigh up from 250 to 400 grams. Going on to behaviour. So females are more active and hyper than the males. They don't usually stay for cuddles though, they prefer to run around and play. Going on to personality. So females are more active than males, so they require lots more different toys to keep them more occupied and stimulated when they are in their accommodation. Unlike the males which will sleep and just want to laze around, the females are so much more active and definitely do need more toys. Instead of sleeping areas, going on to introducing rats. So females is actually much easier to introduce rats to each other. Um, they are much more or less aggressive towards each other when introducing. Um, obviously the males are not. They are more aggressive, whereas the females are less aggressive towards each other. It could be the fact that they have different hormones. So they show different dominance to 
towards each other and females have less dominance and less aggression towards new rats. So they are much easier to introduce to each other when introducing. Going on to the fur coat. So a female's fur is much softer, shinier and silkier, both in appearance and feel. And females never get buck grease, it's only found in males. So females are much better in the fur. Because female rats don't get buck grease because they don't produce the oil that gives off buck grease and have different hormones, this means that they won't give off a slightly musky odour. So they do smell a little bit better than the male rats. And lastly going on to health problems. So females are more prone to getting the tumours than the males and if you have a female rat then you will most likely go through a stage in their life where they will have a tumour as they're more prone to it. And they can get different tumours such as pituitary gland tumours. And these are very common in the female rats um, and due to the position of the tumour in the females. So some symptoms can include the head tilting and also depression in the rats as well. So if you notice any of these signs, the most likely they have this. And unfortunately these can lead to a sudden death. So it's a very serious health problem in female rats. However, this can be prevented and decreased if you neuter your rats. Neutering can definitely help prevent any more tumours from occurring. Um, however, there are some risks in this as well. Um, risks on your rats through the operation and also some side effects after the operation as rats are smaller and harder to operate on. But it usually does help with the chance of tumours occurring. So sometimes operating can be best but this is completely your decision and what you feel is best for your rats, what you want to put your rats through. So that's the video and they are the differences between rat genders. I really hoped I helped anyone out there who may be considering which gender to pick. Um, as I said, both make brilliant pets, each gender, and you will end up with a really great pet, either one. And they are very different from each other. But it's about what you are looking for in a rat and what you depend on in a rat. There is no better gender. Both are equally brilliant and make such great pets. So remember to leave any comments or questions down below. If you enjoyed this video then don't forget to hit that like button. And if you want to see any more videos from us and of course if you like our channel then go subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye.